guys and welcome back to my channel thank you guys for stopping by if you are a new subscriber thank you so much if you are a returning subscriber thank you for staying with me and helping to keep this crazy train going today I have my favorite beauty products of 2016 these are things that either came out in 2016 or that I bought in 2016 that I had been using a whole bunch through the year some of them you probably are already going to guess and let's just get right into it now the first product I have here is a foundation and this is the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Foundation. I absolutely love this foundation and part of the reason that I love it so much is because Makeup Revolution has a huge selection of colors and shades and this one is in 15 and it is so pale. I absolutely love that. It is super difficult finding a foundation that is fair enough to match me and then even fair for doing the makeup that I like to do, which I tend to skew towards the pale spectrum for my gothic alternative vampiric lifestyle. So, and I also love the foundation. It is very soft. It wears well. The formula is amazing. I cannot say enough good things about this foundation and I do use it very sparingly though because it's like $38 and when I run out I know I'm gonna want more so I've been trying to use it sparingly and not take so much of it. Then I have some palettes from 2016. The first being the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. This one like totally broke the internet and for good reason in my opinion. I absolutely adore this palette. I cannot get enough of these beautiful orange peach shades. You've got some beautiful browns, the green, purple, all of that. I adore this palette and this is definitely a favorite of 2016. I was so happy when I found out that Too Faced was releasing it permanently into their collection. I think that was a great move on their part and this was definitely something that I used so much in 2016. The pigmentation, the wearability, and the blendability. This palette in my mind was 110% and I'm so happy they have it permanent because when I run out of it then I can keep it and have it again. I'm so happy and it smells so good. Definitely a favorite of 2016. No. I'm gonna lock you in that room. I'm gonna lock you in that room. And another eyeshadow palette, if you saw my favorite limited edition palettes and my perfect palette tag video, I will link those down below for you to go see. You will be no stranger to the Kat Von D Mi Vida Loca palette. This is such a fixture in my collection. I think everyone needs this. I know now that you can't really get it unless you're willing to shell out $50 million, which I think is stupid, but here is the beautiful thing. You just have this absolutely stunning color wheel. You have every color you could possibly need and then the neutrals in the middle. This palette I have used I think every single color on the outer color wheel and I've used a lot of the ones in the middle. I just get so much use out of this palette and I love the quality, the pigmentation. They blend like a dream. They're not patchy. This is just, I feel, a perfect palette. I cannot stress how much I really love this thing. It is amazing and definitely a favorite of my 2016 beauty. Then lastly for eyeshadow palettes, I have the Urban Decay Naked Ultimate Basics. Now, I only have one of the original basic palettes. I just, it's not something that I use 
so but when this one came out oh my goodness the packaging is so beautiful you get a big old giant mirror and the colors are absolutely stunning and amazing i honestly this color here this matte gray this kind of purple mauvey bit up here these ones i use this one here as a brow bone highlight today i just oh my goodness the hype and the need was so real and i am super happy that i got it because it is a very versatile palette it's easy it's very sturdy so when i take it traveling with me i don't feel like i'm gonna break it or anything like that so I have gotten a lot of use out of this palette in 2016 and I love it. I am seriously obsessed with all matte palettes. If you would like to see my, what I consider the best all matte palettes, then I'll leave it down below. I have that video. So, but I absolutely adore this. It is an amazing palette. It has great pigmentation. The wearability is amazing and I think the selection is wonderful and I just, I used the heck out of this in 2016 and I just absolutely love it. It is an amazing palette. I have a few blushes that were really my jam for 2016 and the first one was released last year, kind of around the time when the Sweet Peach, Sweet, Sweet Peach palette came out and this is the Too Faced Sparkling Bellini. I love peach and orange tones. You guys have heard me talk about it all the time. And this blush just, oh, it speaks to me on so many levels. I love all of the blushes from this line. It is just absolutely stunning. A beautiful, coral, shimmery amazingness. I have used this so much. It is really my go-to if I'm wearing a blue wig. I like to do coral because that looks really good together. I'll use it on my cheeks. I'll do my fairy contouring down my nose, up the side of my head. I just have used this in so many different ways and I love it and I would be so lost without this blush in my collection. If you don't have it or any of the any of the sweethearts perfect flush blushes, I definitely recommend picking them up. And then from Urban Decay, I have got these blushes, the 8-hour powder blush afterglow blushes that were released last year in the spring or summer. And these are one of my favorite blush formulas. I absolutely love these. The packaging is amazing. When Urban Decay released that they were going to release single blushes, I was all about that. I have all the colors, I cannot get enough of these. I wanted to show you guys my three favorite colors though. And the one that first really called to me was Bittersweet. It is this beautiful purple. It goes on very violet, lilac-y on the cheeks. It is just absolutely stunning. I love this color. And then we have Indecent. Once again, that beautiful orange coral just absolutely stunning i cannot oh there she is absolutely beautiful and then we have quiver i love me a bright red blush and i've actually used this as eyeshadow i love this blush i find that it's very unique because I don't think a lot of places have a red blush that is this intense and pigmented. I just cannot get enough of all of these and have been using the heck out of every single one all in 2016. I love them to death. Then again from Kat Von D, I have two of her studded kiss lipsticks. These are one of my favorite lipstick formulas but the two colors I specifically wanted to show you that I have been using so much in 2016 if you follow me on Instagram you'll see a lot of looks that I did that were orange and coral based as we seem to be following a theme and these are in Halo and Solo and these are so beautiful here is a bright orange has kind of some shimmer to it is absolutely stunning and then solo it's kind of just a a 
gold shimmer with a lot of coral and orange in it. I cannot get enough of both of these. I love using the halo color on the outer bit of my mouth and then filling it in with Solo. That looks so pretty. I have been using these so much. They are my favorite coral orange in your face lipsticks that I own and Oh my goodness, I know they're going to get a lot more use in 2017, but these are a must and a favorite in my collection. And then last but not least, what is a favorites video without a highlighter? And I have one, two, three, four, five, six highlighter palettes. You know them, you love them, Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kits. Ah. I love these babies. I have every single one they have released except for the newest one, which I will be getting tomorrow because it releases. I'm so excited. Ugh, it'll be released by the time that this video comes out, but it's so pretty. I'm so excited. I have the Moon Child. Everyone knows what these look like. They are amazing. I have the Sweets one. Like I said, we all know what these look like. They're amazing. I have the Ultimate Glow, which I do like. I don't like as much as the other ones. It's not a product that I regret buying like I've seen a lot of people after the holidays because this one was not the same formula, not the same ingredient. So there was kind of some ooh, ooh about that one. I have Sun Dipped. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta, I gotta show. Sun Dipped. Oh, so beautiful. I highlight. I contour. I use these as blushes. This is Gleam. I use these every which way and I love them. They are probably one of, if not my favorite product of 2016. This is in That Glow. Anastasia really hit these out of the park and there is a good reason that these are cult favorites. I love all of them. I use them all for different things. Like I said, I highlight, I contour with the darker shades, I bronze, I use them as blushes. I love these so much and am a total Anastasia Beverly Hills glow kit addict. Like seriously, the new one came out and I was like, well, I've got like 24 highlighters, you know, and all of these, but I need that other one. No, I don't, but I need that other one. And then here's the Ultimate Glow Kit. I just, mm, 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 mm. If you guys would like to see a full review with swatches of these, please let me know down in the description below and I will get on that for you guys. Oh, oh my goodness, I love those things. Definitely a favorite. But that was my favorite beauty products of 2016. Please let me know if you saw one that was your favorite. Let me know what your favorites are in the comments down below. And as always guys, please give this video a big like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and keep it real. Love you guys.